والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبد في الله as we're talking about the strangeness of the sunnah and some of the other narrations some of the Ahl sunnah who explained this athar which the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said Islam began as something strange and will return to being strange as it began Imam al-Awza'i rahimahullah ta'ala said as for this then it does not mean that Islam will go away but rather it means that Ahl sunnah will go away up to the point that there will not remain in the land any from them except one person. Based on this understanding of Habatif Allah, there can be found in the statements, many statements of the Salaf al-Salih, Ridwan Allahi alayhim, much praise for Ahlul Sunnah and the adherence of the Sunnah, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam, those who try to practice the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wasallam. Imam Al-Hasan Al-Basri Rahimullah Ta'ala He said O Ahlul Sunnah Be gentle with one another And may Allah have mercy upon you For indeed you are From amongst the fewest of people Ahabatifillah What's fascinating About this is one of our contemporary Imams from Ahlul Sunnah Wal Jama'ah, Imam Abdul Mahsan Al Abad, Hafizullah Ta'ala, who teaches in the Haram in Medina. He has a book entitled Gentleness, Rifqan Ahlul Sunnah, Bi Ahlul Sunnah. Gentleness with Ahlul Sunnah, with Ahlul Sunnah, that Ahlul Sunnah, he's, he's adhering and exhorting the people to go back to the Minhaj of the Salaf. That we shouldn't be quick to destroy and attack and to belittle one another's honor. That we should make excuses for one another from Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah. But Ahlul Bid'ah gets no passes. Why? Why? Why is this unfair? Or why does this not seem like the same scale? It isn't the same scale. Ahlul Sunnah, their usul is Ahlul Sunnah. Ahlul Bid'ah, their usul, that means that their foundation principles that they adhere to is deviant. We can't give excuses for Yasser Qadi. We can't give excuses for Hamza Yusuf. We can't give excuses for other Mubtadi al Khalis. Those people who are pure Mubtadiya, who have purely deviant beliefs from Ahl Sunnati wa Jama'ah. Ba'i Jiddan. We can't give excuses for them. But Ahl Sunnah, when they make a mistake, you make an excuse. You call, you invite your brother. You call your brother back to good. Yunus ibn Ubaid, Rahimullah Ta'ala, said, there is not a thing that more stranger than the Sunnah. And what is more stranger than it is the one who knows it. SubhanAllah. Ahabatifillah, that shows us also that we need Elm, Elm and Nafia. We need Elm and Fiqh fi Deen. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Whoever Allah, whenever Allah wants good for a person, He gives them Fiqh, understanding of the religion. How is that relevant here, Ahabatifillah? This is relevant because you need Fiqh fi Deen to be able to tell and know and understand the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam It takes Fiqh Fi Deen, it takes Ilm and Nafia and that only comes through Ta'allam it only comes through Ta'leem, it only comes through sitting and studying the books the, the, the Qur'an and the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Minhaj of the Salaf Salih Ridwan Allahi Alayhim Sufyan al-Thawri Rahimahullah Ta'ala said Treat Ahlul Sunnah kindly for verily they are strangers, Allahu Akbar. Because no one can claim that they're infallible. No one can claim that individuals from Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah don't make mistakes and sins. The Prophet Sallallahu said, Kullu ibn Adam khatta wa khayran khatayna tawabun. All the children of Adam, they commit mistakes, they commit sins. And the best of those, since all of them do it, is those who make toba. So toba is what's going to distinguish us that we come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and seek forgiveness. Therefore, Habatifillah, Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah, when we see scholars, when we see du'at, when we see imams, when we see the average person and they're from Ahlul Sunnah making mistakes, we advise them. The Prophet sallallahu said, Adina al Siha, the religion is sincere advice. So make excuses for Ahlul Sunnah and help and assist Ahlul Sunnah. Because they are gharib, they're the ghuraba, they're strangers in the land. 
and so many people come together on Bida, and that becomes the mainstream in so many places. It's mainstream. Those are the mainstream organizations. They're not built on, on the book and the sunnah. Most of them are built on siyasa, on, on politics and, and other things. And we're not saying we don't need the politics. That's not what we're saying. But we're saying that that is their murajah. That's where they go back to. They go back to to the manifestos of 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 of, uh, of Said Qutb or or uh, Hassan al Benna or whatever or, or some sort of political activism, maybe even non-Muslim political activism. They go back to that. They don't go back to the book and say, "Hey, let's deal with our mashakal through the Quran. Let's deal with our mashakal and our problems through the Sunnah. Let's deal with our mashakal by analyzing some of the athar of the Salaf al Salih, Ridwan Allahi alayhim, and coming to a contemporary understanding and a contemporary way to practice these principles." So it's imperative that Ahl Sunnah has this love for one another. I love to see Ahl Sunnah. I love it. I love to watch different du'a to Sunnah, calling to the Sunnah and calling the people and raising up the people and helping their communities and building their communities because that is beautiful. And that's what, that's what we're, that's our Islam. Islam huwa Sunnah, Sunnah huwa Sunnah, he al Islam. Islam is the Sunnah and the Sunnah is Islam. And we ask Allah Tabarakla Ta'ala, the Almighty, to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be from Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah, Ahlul Mutamasakeen Abi Kitabillah, Wubi Sunnati Rasulillah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Ala Alihi Wasallam, Wa Sallallahu Wasallam Ala Nabiya Muhammad Wa Ala Alihi Wa Sahbihi Wasallam.